they were showing me a picture of Alex, and he's really ripped, like, like really something. Uh, changing the subject now, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of speculation between uh, Lomachenko, Linares, you know, this side, that side. It's almost impossible to... to, to well, it's not impossible, because obviously they had certain... They agreed to the fight, and then there were certain objections, because they didn't want to do put the fight on against an HBO show that was going to feature the delay telecast of Canelo Golovkin. So people sat down and said, well, you know, let's see if we can deal with the problem. So it's a win-win. And the way that it could be dealt with is if ESPN could move up its telecast an hour, and that wouldn't interfere with the HBO telecast. Indeed, it would help the HBO telecast because the ESPN announcers would refer to the HBO telecast that was com coming up later that evening. So everybody said, hey, this wasn't a bad solution. So that's what we're trying to get implemented. Everybody, I must say, whether it's Golden Boy or Peter Nelson at HBO or Burke Magnus of ESPN, the programmer, everybody is working together to get, make that happen. In terms of that matchup, style-wise, what, what do you see? I mean, I'm not asking for a prediction, but how do you see that style-wise? Well, style -wise? Clear, clearly, as Lomachenko goes up in weight and fights a bigger guy, that is, I think, the most difficult fight that he's at. He's, he and his father are ready for that challenge, and uh, I, I think it'll be terrific, and we have Madison Square Garden, the big building, is on hold. We hope to put 20,000 people in. Lomachenko has a huge Ukrainian following, and we're talking now to Ray Beltran and his manager, and maybe we can get Ray to defend his title as well on that same card on that day. What do you make of their back and forth uh, Twitter feels like the RS and... Uh... Well, because people, they're box in boxing, so there's a lot of testosterone, and instead of trying to reason it out, people start attacking. But I think finally there was realization that, hey, we can all make this happen for the benefit of everybody. If they have ESPN with its tremendous audience talking about an upcoming telecast of HBO that night, isn't that good?